fine. But the point is, is that when you get Picasso, I mean, we all see that, that people lose themselves. When you lose yourselves, you make, you make yourselves, uh, you know, make grave mistakes. Yeah, fine. Okay. So we are up to major Gemaras now. Major, major Gemaras. I know Martuk is not here, but it's major. As we continue in the major, major Gemaras. Um, fine. So we're at the top. We're continuing. We're continuing with the cases of Usha, the takaras that they made in Usha. Right? Again, Usha was one of the places that Sanhedrin went to Gullus to when they uh, after after the Gullus, after the Churban Beis Hamikdash, they went to Usha and they made a lot of takaras there. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Three lines down. Nunam and Aleph. So I'm a Rabbi Loi. But Usha is Kino, and Usha they were Masaka, and Hamavaz was Ayyavaz, is Yosem and Chaymesh. If you're going to give, don't give more than a Chaymesh. So what, what is this? Doesn't even, doesn't see what it's talking about, right? So Rashi says, Mavaz is Laniyim, Mi Chaymesh, Shabbat Nechasav, Shalai Yitzdarach Libriyas. Meaning, you're not allowed to give more tzedakah than a fifth of your money. Because if you give more than a fifth, then you yourself might become poor, and then you're gonna have to come on to you're gonna come on to you're gonna have to come on to other people. So therefore, nothing more than a fifth. Right? So the well, tais- Yeah. What's with the tzaddikim that never went to sleep with a penny to their name? They gave everything away every night. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, these are these are uh Okay, so we'll get to that in a minute. Let's let's just finish the Gemara, and then we'll try and well, I don't know if we'll get answer that, but we'll try. Right. So the the second Tyson says the the second Tyson down says first you give a chaymish on on your your initial earnings, and then after that you only give a fifth on top of the of the new income. I mean, you don't have to give a you don't give a fifth, and this goes for Meiser too. You don't give a fifth of your money every year. You give a fifth as the money comes in. Once you give a fifth on that money. This is after my sir? A fifth is 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 double my sir. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So he's saying don't so, give more than double twenty percent. A fifth is twenty percent. It's different if you if you're worth a billion dollars. Yeah, yeah. We'll get to that. We'll get to that in a, in a minute. Make it but, sure right uh, away we know that. Yeah. Yeah, I we'll get. Make we'll, sure some people here on the DAF have to know. Yeah, but it's important to know that the Gemara doesn't say it's talking about tzedakah. No, Rashi, it's talk. It's we paskin like this for all mitzvahs says. This this halach is brought down in Hilchas Lulav and Esr, that you don't spend more than a fifth of your belongings. So can I ask you? Of, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. So then, how are you? How is a person a lot to give shiurim more than twenty percent of his time if he could be learning it himself? Because le- t- giving shir is also learning. So that's what do you mean? The person is taking away from his own growth in limanat taira in order to help others. Why is he allowed to give more than twenty percent? It could be he can't. It could. Who says he could? Maybe he can't. I don't know. You, you're basically what? a Ramosha Feinstein writes that a person has to give a tenth of his time. Besides, no, that, a tenth, yeah, that, I know, but one second. A tenth, right. So you're saying that he shouldn't be able to give more than a fifth. But you see a Rebbe. A Rebbe teaches Talmudim. What does he have to teach Talmudim? Let him go learn on his own. That, I'm saying most, of the, most of the time he's doing it for Parnassah. Let's say he doesn't need the Parnassah. He's a Rashiva that doesn't need the Parnassah, right? We know some Rashiva like that, right? They're not doing it for the Parnassah, right? So what, what? So how is he allowed to give more than 20% of his time? Because I, I think it's different because he's gaining from it. He's gaining a lot, which we'll see on the bottom of the arm. How's the person allowed to spend more than 20% in Kirov? How's the person allowed to spend more than 20% in fundraising? Ooh, it could very what? well be. No, because that's all Parnassah. That's all Parnassah. Right, that's all Parnassah. We'll get to it. We'll get. We'll, we'll get back. Right how now, is a person? Al- 
How is a person allowed to work if, he's, if he wasn't supposed to feed his kids? Why is he wasting his time working for? Oh, he, could involved, a, he, he could be at the racetrack. Why is he wasting his time working? Well, right, getting, well, learning. Paying tuition and buying rye bread for his kids. He wasn't supposed to do that. Anakonami, that these are these are good questions. But anyway, um, but the but the bottom line is if let's say a guy has a hundred dollars in the bank and he lost his job and an esrig is twenty one dollars, he does not buy the esrig. That's all. If you right, yeah, he does not buy the esrig, he does or any other mitzvah. Um so that's another that's another important thing. Then let's let's see the vibe because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot exceptions. of uh, it. Now, yeah, there are three exceptions really. Fine, let's see. Maybe he's going to need a beer. So Maybe he's going to need a beer. So Maybe he's going to Maybe he's going to need a beer. So 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 Maybe he's going to and his friend didn't let him with money Rabbi Kiva. That was Rabbi Kiva. Right? So I'm going to meet him with Rabbi Kiva. My crow. How do you know that you're supposed to give a fifth? Right? It's a double lush. Anything that you give to me, I am going to take off. It's double lush. So therefore, I'm going to give Meiser and then Meiser. So they're going to ask a very technical question. Right, the second miser is not similar to the first miser because let's say a guy has ten dollars, so he takes off the first miser, he gives a dollar. Now he has nine dollars left. The miser from that is ninety cents. That is not that's not a fifth of the initial ten. It's a, it's it's minus a dime, right? Using that that also meaning if he gives if he gives a fifth in one shot. Fine, so that's a double meiser. But if he gives first meiser and then meiser on that, that is not that is not a fifth. It's slightly less. So Ravashi Asrenu Lebasur Kikama. They do the meiser on the latter one the same way they do it on the earlier one, meaning it's ten and then ten. All right. Um, fine. So now, what do we learn? What do we learn from this? Yeah. That you cannot give more than more than uh, more than a fifth of your miser, right? So the thing is, so the thing is, um, the the Chavetz Chaim writes in Likute Halachas, right? He writes a bunch of uh, a bunch of heterim, which Elio Ikovich just bought a Likute Halachas that had a muga in it from supposedly from the, somebody you know. Somebody just uh, somebody read through it and wrote Muga. A lot of times it was Chavetz Chaim himself, but uh, either way, so it's only apropos that we quoted Lakute Halachas, which Lakute Halachas is basically the uh, Chavetz Chaim made like the Peterish of the Riff on the parts of Shas that the Riff didn't. Right, the Riff only wrote on practical Halacha, and the Chavetz Chaim added. Either way, and in Avos Chesed he also says, um, I don't remember which one he says what, but he basically says if a guy is really wealthy. He could give more than a fifth. He also says, and this is a major one, he says, for Limer HaToyra, you're allowed to give more than a fifth. You're allowed to give up every penny. For Limer HaToyra. So that's, um, that's a good one for you to know, Zev. Yeah, for Limer Yeah, I know that already. That one I know. <laughs> okay, good. Zev and, turned uh, it from Mutter into a Chiv already. <laughs> right? And then also, he did. see our proof. Yeah. I went on by by accident on the, that the the uh, website the auction uh, was a Genizam, what's it called for for Sarum? Yeah. the bid for a Meli Melech first printing is five hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Are you serious? Yeah, so that guy could probably buy an Esther for more than twenty five bucks. I would say you could you could take more than uh, you could take more than a famous from that guy. And the reason for the title is because the, the person can't get enough of title, correct? Well, that sounds correct. good, Dev. That sounds good. It's a good yeah, line. That's, a good line for a guy's couch. It's a good line. There you go. That's a good marketing. There you go, Zev. You got the slogan down pat. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's no but then but then he writes uh, then he writes this might work for you also then he also writes that if you spend money on stupidity then you might as well give a fifth part oh, so i asked so my chavrusa this morning i said let me ask you a question if a guy gives let's say a guy gives chaymish gives chaymish the guy makes a million dollars and he gives two hundred thousand dollars He's not allowed to buy himself a five thousand dollars suit if he wants. That's already that's beyond the scope of my brain, which is not that much of a scope. But I'm just saying it's mean, not. I mean, is the person is the person not allowed to buy himself? I don't know. More? Right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Can you know, the big issue? The hot button topic. If he, if if he's a, if, Jeb, I'll tell you. I'll pass you in front of Yaakov if he's if he had that much money, he can to ask parents to pick him up three bottles of the expensive beer. You could do it. That he could do. That Thank you. Sure he could do. Certainly look over Shabbos. Right. I know the big hot button topic about Igvirim is if you could fly, is it right to fly private in your family? Right? Okay. So no. that, that's the hot button topic. I don't, I don't know the answer to the question. No. But, uh, uh, listen, you know, it depends if you're going to be in Achamovel, if you're going to Chasas, beside the Kedushin, you know, it's a very hot topic there. Of course, of course, yes, yes. <laughs> Niagara Falls. Sorry, you, should, yeah. you should tell them only if they fly their rough private, also. Right. One second. They are. They are. To be fair, they are. A lot of Russian shivas are flying private lately. They get flipped. But, that, but hello, Jacko, But that's the double spin. That's the whole hack. That's yes, yes, yes. That is that is part of the hack that's out there. Yes. Uh, in all yeah. honesty. I was talking about the rub they asked their Shilas to, not the guy who honored. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Nicky, by yeah. the way, Tiakov does fly private. He owns Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's good. good. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> I thought it was Paris yeah, yeah. that owns all the spirits. <laughs> we're, we're in each one of us is our own spirits. Yeah. But as long as neither one of us is too spiritual. But anyway. Okay. Now, he brings down the way, also, the a, 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 also a guy who's dying. Give away. If he's dying, he can give everything away. Yeah, yeah. I forgot who says that. Now, there's, the there is a main... I think, is it the Ramah? The Ramah says it? Yeah, but we've, got, yeah. We've, had, we've had many family feuds based on that one. Yeah. But anyway. What do we... What do we uh, Okay. Because they gave, then they have, say the father's is senile and da da da. He's giving away all his money, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. all that type. Of, but anyway, um, the gra holds, and if you run this gemara, lechara the gra. I don't know that the gra seems right, but the gra holds. You have to give a chaimish. No such thing as meiser. The gra holds meiser is chaimish. What does that mean? That's what, what it sounds like. What does that mean? You, you, this, you, we, you know, the island gives 10 percent. The girl holds no, it's 20 percent. I'm saying, but I want we, I, 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 I said, that yeah, means, no. Zev, according to you, if you give my sir, according to the girl, you did nothing. That's what it means. <laughs> I, 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 we, I was learning on my chrusa this morning. I told them, based Jacob, on the don't next, tell them that. Don't tell them that. He's, on gonna, the, he's gonna start telling everybody who's knocked on the girl's man, and they have to start giving their tomorrow type of night. Sir. Aaron Kaplan, tomorrow night, he's going to yell out Azavish Shamru to show that he doesn't go like the grow, like you never heard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, just yeah telling, so. I'm just telling you one thing. That, what was I saying? All right, I forgot. Okay. <laughs> we stopped. No, a person, a person, a person yeah. like, with the next Kumar is sort of talking about supporting your kids, right? Taking care of your kids. You know, really today, you don't have to, you know, after the kid's six years old, you don't really have to give him support. Him. Correct. So, so right. really, in essence, a lot of what we're doing today, I asked the child, could it be that you, it's more than my son of It is. It is, yes. I mean, I'm feeding my kids. I'm supporting my kids. I'm, I'm presenting them to the yeshiva. I'm, 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 I'm doing care. I'm, all these things we're doing for the kids, really make it a din. It could be that we're, we're right to even a chaymish. Yes. Yes. 100%. Because Shiloh's, 
And the shadows, I don't know. I, we didn't know. Lala we could all be the, home learning and had just having a lot of naked kids running around the street, but we'll all become Talmud Chachamim. <laughs> Listen. What was uh, that? All I heard was naked kids. What is going on here? <laughs> yeah, whatever. But anyway, <laughs> he's... Listen, the sheet of a kubet says hold, by the way, this, this one's good for you, Zeb. Okay, based on what you're saying. The sheet of a kubet says here, I think he yells it here, it's in Baba Kama. I don't remember. I think maybe Baba Kama holds that the second fifth can be used for a mitzvah. What do you mean the second fifth? Meaning you give your first miser, like the Gemara is saying, right? You give your first 10%. Pen. Yeah. And your second 10% can even come for a mitzvah chayubis. Like yesterday we said that when to put on, to, to, to buy tefillin, oh, yeah. to buy lulav and esr, you're not allowed to use miser. Shita Mechabetz says, hold, the second, the second 10%, you're allowed to even use a mitzvah chayubis. Yeah, with so the grog, with the grog, agree with that. I don't so, you, so you could buy the lulav and esr with the miser, according to him. The second 10%, not the first uh-huh. one. Right, 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 right. The Chaimish, the Chaimish. Yeah. Okay, right. Okay, if, if that was one hot button topic, then we get into Chinuch now, yeah? But yep. before that, yeah? Saying it's only Eliyahu. All right. I want to see about Ashi. B'shmuas halolu m'smatis v'hokus. These shmuas were going down. The simonah ketanim kosvu v'zbizu. And the simon for that is the ketanim, they write, and then they gave they give out. Meaning, the first Takana of Usha was Bishem. I forgot already who was Bishem. Rashi says, uh, uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, Rashi. The first Takana from Usha was Rabbi Eloi, Bishem, Rish Lakish, Bishem, the Arab Yudabar, the, uh, who is it? Yeah, you know, it's Yachanina, right? And the second was just Rabbi Eloi. And the third was just Rabbi Lai by himself, meaning these new Takanas that are coming out are coming with less sources to it. So that's a way to remember that. Okay. A person should just roll with his kids. I guess that would be the way to touch it. Meaning if the kid is not interested in learning, so just, you know, take it easy on him. But after that, you have to go uh, go down and, uh, and make him a sugar. Right, Rashi says to take a ritzua with a strap and withhold food from him. Yeah, try right? to do it today. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, is, this there a, would be no yeshiva today, but only like uh, what do you call it? the off the derech ones, the priority ones. Yeah, yeah, no. Well, they don't do. Maybe, it. Don't maybe. Do it. Uh, I'm saying that's maybe, what it'll be. Aaron, maybe if once in a while they got a they got a little patch, maybe they will be like that. Oh, uh, sure, sure. No, he's a mechanic yeah. now too. Look at this. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 a tough sugya. It's a tough. Maybe sugya. if they had fi- well, maybe if they had fired Coco thirty five years ago, they wouldn't be like that. Uh, uh, Abba, 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 Abba doesn't say doesn't say a rebbe. It says a father to a child. That's it right. Exactly. A fa- not a rebbe. Exactly. Not a rebbe. I didn't say. Nobody said. It says Megangal in Benai. Yeah. It means a father to a child. This Gemara is talking about a father to a child now. Exactly. That's what I'm Correct. saying. Right. Yeah, you okay, right. good. All right. You, you're going uh, off topic. <laughs> I'm, I'm going <laughs> off topic. But it's a uh, money call. It's, it's a, it doesn't say from a schwer to a son-in-law, that's for sure. Right. That's how my name is mother. That's uh yeah. But anyway, so... Um, so the Gemari is mashman, no stressing out the kids until they're 12. After 12, stress them out. Ain't the Gemara says, not true. Less than six years old, don't, don't even be makabal him to learn anything. Barshis, Kabil, six year old, be makabal him, and stuff him like a shore with as much information as you can, right? But um, so you see that you're supposed to teach him. So when it says in Safi Le Ketura, stuff him like a shark. Miu ain't a yard email about Lachishem Asushana. No pressure though until after 12 years. Tysus brings down the Mishnayas in Pirkayovas that seem to that seem to say a steer to these at what age they're supposed to start learning. Okay, whatever it is, 
Iba is saying, well, like Kasha, or we say it's a different Kasha, no, no Kasha, Hala Mikra, Hala Mishnah. Right? Mikra, you can teach him. Mishnah, don't teach him. Right? Uh, meaning, meaning, no. Force, you could force him to read Psukim at age six. Do not force him to learn Mishnayas until he's at least, at least age 12. Omar, Omar Abaya, Omar Li Aim, my mother told me, Bar Shisla Mikra, a six year old. Is ready to learn learn Sokim Bar Eser le Mishnah. Ten year old is is Mishnayis Bar Tleisa le Tanisa Meisleis. Thirteen year old is for a Tainis for twenty four hours. But and a, and and a girl Bas Tracer means twelve. Now it doesn't mean the twelve years old because then she's she's Vade Mechuyu. Right? That's what Rashi says. It means in the eleventh year, and the Bar Mitzvah means in the twelfth year. But that means for the tainus may ace lays because you know everybody likes to say that the, there's a minig three three tanesim before. It's not true. It's not true. The mishabur says a kid should not fast before he's thirteen. Oh, by yim kippur. So yim kippur is a special din that they should try if they can um, to fast because that's a tanisa may ace lays. Fine. So. Bottom line is, is you have conflicting gemaras exactly when to teach a kid, when not to teach a kid. That's why you have uh, um, you have to take each case and each each dar. That's what they say, each dar into into its own into its own own cheshbonus, and you cannot bring any rias from previous dars. With the chovetz chaim, the chovetz chaim brought down any alacha. Um, the lekut alachas wasn't based. The stuff from on Misa wasn't based on our gemara. It was from other Gemaras. So, uh, um, I don't know. Either way, it's, 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 I don't know which, do, that's the only thing is, I don't know which new Dar has the guts to change the, the status quo. That I don't know. You got to, I mean, Wait a minute, one you're, not, you're not changing the status quo. You change, the Dar is either. different. The Dar is different, so it can't, can't it can't handle what, what it is, it's the door that came in, but it's not that really you're changing the clothes that is though. Really, it should be maybe six and twelve. But since this door can't handle it, so maybe the door is yeah, but change. who's the one who's the one to decide which the door can't handle it? If you see that it's not working. Maybe you're not doing a good enough job. I don't know. I, I heard once from Rabbi Matisio Salman. They were talking about really if, if you're allowed to patch somebody. He was talking about patching, right? He said, since today's door translates patching, I hate you, you're not allowed to do it. That means the door is touching it that way. I, the last door, they did it. Okay. But this door, this door okay. translates. But who decided that? Well, you, if you see it's not working, that means that means it's not working, right? I uh, said so one second. So that me, so me and all my kids should get together and say we're not interested in going to school. Rabban, you're muted. Um, you see, most even don't keep kashris. So why don't you lower the price of chicken by three dollars, and they can, maybe more Jews would eat kosher, or maybe you might allow everybody to eat treif because it's not working. That kosher chickens cost four times more than treif. Most Jews don't eat kosher food. Right? That's a pretty much a basic or keep Shabbos. So why don't you change that? Either way, change it. Yeah, that, that yeah. does it, it, yeah. Part of, okay, that's a whole different sugi. That's a whole different sugi, but yeah, it would it might actually help Claudia so okay, but if they would start selling non glot Right? If the OU would give an extra on non glot Okay, but that's a whole different schmooze. Um, I think Ramatisio's art was slightly different. I've heard it from him a couple times. He's saying that we're not changing anything. When they used to give a pouch in the back in the day, there was no anger involved. There's no kas. It was chenuch. Today, most parents aren't able to do that. Excuse, so excuse me, anger. excuse me, uh, Mr. Russell. My father yeah. went to a tremendous cheder in Yerushalayim, okay, uh, 90 years ago. And he didn't, didn't, a lot of the boys like my father, they did not have shoes to wear. Okay, so the Rebbe used to hit them with a stick on the arch of their foot, like the Japs hit American prisoners of war. So that was done with love. That was done with love. What's what are you babbling for? 
I don't know what you're talking about and why you're so angry, because what I was talking about was anger, not love. So you just ran right into that. No, what he's saying, what he's saying, no, I think it's not a theater between the both of you. I think the shot is, is that when they started, no, when they started having rebellion that would hit not properly, so Mamelu, that caused it to stop. Right, right. Yeah, I, I think Aaron's clock is off. He thinks it's in the morning. This is this is morning conversation. This is not. This is morning Kyle conversation. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Um, no, it's a very hard topic because fifty years ago, it was not a right. Yeah, but I'm talking about more with the pressure, and nowadays everything is bonuses, and everything is a prize, and everything is this and that and whatever. Anyways, okay, whatever. We ain't for Hashem Hanan and Bechanach. That's all I can say. Yeah, fine. Maybe instead of hitting them Lamais, you're hitting them with, with love. I don't know. Maybe, Maybe. I hope so. I don't know. A space niche. Um, yeah, okay. So I'm going to buy it. I'm really aim. Hi, bar shit, bar shit. Now, another next, the next controversial Gemara, right? Hi, bar shit, the Tarkale Akrava. So a bar shit, a six year old was bitten with a scorpion. Right, the Yoma, the Mishlam Shis. If if it's on the day that he becomes six years old, like Chai, he's not gonna live. He's not going to live. Uh, Rashi says unless he has a, a specific refuah, Maya Susa. And what's the refuah? Barasasa, Barasas. How do you say? Yeah, Barasasa the Dayo Chibarta B'Shichra. You take the the uh, some sort of mucus from. Um, a die is a type of bird, a vulture. Rashi says it's a vulture. Yeah, for Vlamites, for Reish. You take the, the blood, not, not the blood. So the Mora, why do you call it Mora? The Mora is the, uh, the, the, bile. the liver. The liver. Ball, it's the liver. Ball, ball. The, 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 what is it? Not the, the, the bladder. The bile, the bile. It says the bile, the bile. You take the stuff yeah. that comes out. Yeah. Yeah, so then you take that and then you mix it with shekhar, with beer, nashve, vinashke, you rub it on him and then you give it to him to drink. Right? Now, is that treif? Sakana Stefashi. What? Am I the one that lost him or everybody? No, it's Yaakov. We lost you. He's oh. frozen. Yes, I hopped. I crashed. Sorry. You hear me? Yeah. Yes, Sakonis the Foshus. <coughs> it's Sakonis the Foshus, so therefore there should be Mutter, right? Yeah. No. Yeah, that's because Ashi says that this is a refuel. Look at the Tysus. So look at the Tysus, my Asusa. Asusa is another big sugi here. Peter's Rabbein Otam, Shalei Yishchenu. Right, Tyson says, Rabbein Otam says that it shouldn't get bit. Not that, not that it is a refuah, it's preventative. Aval ain't near the far, Shalachash to Nashu. It doesn't seem like Rashi saying after it gets bit. Amar Deloi Chai, Mashu Dein Refu Me'elis. Sounds like there's no refuah for it at all. Right? So it's suffix to go Chavish, according to Tyson. So why preventative is not a stuff? Why would you think a kid is going to get bit by a scorpion? Because if he's in a he's in a matzah where there's a lot of scorpions, no. Maybe that's the case, but even so, since when do you allow somebody to eat trafe as a preventative measure? Okay, from this place, this is mashma that you're allowed. That's all. It's a big chiddush. It's a big, it's it's a chiddush. It's but it's a, it's a it's a good thing. Is that to know. shot? It's a good is that thing. shot? I don't know. I'm asking. Is that chat? Yeah. What? Well, what else? That. I mean, that's what Tyson says. Preventative. You're allowed to give him trace. Fine. Okay. It's getting late, so we have to. But uh, yeah. So that's another. That's another tumble here. Fine. With sugars like, like this, there's I'm, no way we can ever do it in an hour. Yeah. yeah I tell you how we can do it. If we mute everybody, we could do it. <laughs> 
Yeah, these are Gishmak Sugis. These are very Gishmak. Yeah. High bar shata, the Torah lazy Bura. I have a six year old that a bee bites it. But you the Mishram shata. On the day that he turns, his, his year ends, that's a literal translation. Lechai is not going to live. Maya to say, what's, what's, what's going to heal him? So there, Asivasa, the Dikla Maya, you take some sort of stuff out of a decal tree and and Nashve Benashke, you rub it on him, you give him to drink. Fine. Amar al Katina, call him Machnes, it's Panay Pokhati, we've been Sheish. Anybody who brings his kid to learn less than six years old, you're going to be running after him, you're never going to reach him, meaning you're going to wipe him out. Right? Because the bottom line is, Limud HaTayra makes you weak. So if you make your kid learn too early, then it's a problem. Now, I'm, I'm assuming that the way we can extend this is, just like nowadays we say our six-year-olds were not six-year-olds back then, I don't even know if our 20-year-olds are six-year-olds. Right? So... I would say that the, the age moves up, but I can't, I cannot, I'm again, I'm not a mechanach, I don't know, but it could very well be. Yeah. They said about Rabbi Yashiv that he was extremely, extremely weak. They didn't, when he was a little kid, and they didn't expect him to even live. It was like, he was like a nace his whole life. Fine. His friends are going to run after him, and they're not going to reach him. Because he's going to be so far ahead since he learned so much. So, of course, for Hashem, we have two different versions of a Gemara so that we could have the people that force their kids to learn have a backup, and those that don't make their kids learn at all also have a backup, right? And, uh, yeah. The Tavayu Isnu, Cholish Vagomer. But both of them hold, right? Meaning they, they both can be, they could both be right. Cholish, he'll be weak, but he'll, he'll know more. Right, meaning, you could say, okay, I, I'll have a weak kid, but at least it'll be a Talmud Chacham. Right, that's one way of looking at it. Ibai is same, or you could say, one is talking about where he is already weak. But if you see he's a healthy boy, then you could push him. You have to know each kid. So basically, we have enough in this Gemara to su- supply every every Vada Chinuch, since we have a new uh, new guy on the Vada Chinuch of his of his uh, town. He, yeah, so he, we have him on the daf for Hashem. So he now has to know these gemaras that you have. You have a gemara to, to back up every opinion of a of a board meeting for a school. Yeah, fine. I'm Rabbi Yosi Bachanina. Peusha Eskinu Haisha Shemachra Benichtem Ilug Bechay Bala. This is the what do we have to the fourth takana of Usha. So okay, we need a little background. So a woman when she brings in belongings to the marriage, so this Nichtei Sain Barzel Nichtem Ilug. So Nichtei Sain Barzel. Is is really hers, but the husband really gets to use it. Nechti milug is where the she brings in property. The property belongs to her, but the payers the husband gets. But let's say that the wife decides, since she since she owns the property, she just decides to sell the property. So she sold it when the husband's still alive. Umesa, and then she dies. So now what? So now the husband yarshins the wife. So Habal the husband could go back to the people that bought the properties from the wife and say that it's really my it's really mine. Um meaning basically we're saying that the husband's like a purchaser, and whoever purchased first has dibs if they're owed money. So if he's owed money by his wife by his wife's estate, then he's gonna get first dibs on it. Right, so that was another takana from Usha. Why does that need a takana Susha? Why isn't that just Mama Harishan Lashani calls Pusha Tavaliadi? No, because she it's her. She could do whatever she wants. But he is the Irish her husband's the Irish her. So it's only her. Once it, far yeah, her. once it turns into money, which it did in the lifetime, then he has sleep them. That's what I didn't understand this morning. No, what do you mean? It's not. She does not she she could do whatever she wants the Iker with the property. She and owns the Empire State saying, Building. She sold it. And now it's cash. So the cash belongs to the husband. It's not Malug anymore. It's cash. No, it doesn't. It never, she never brought that into the marriage. I don't think. Malug is what the, the, the husband does not sleep over, right? That's, that's, that's Karka. It's not cash. Correct. 
Correct. So the husband has no rights on buildings, but he has right on cash. And now it became cash. So what's the issue? Yeah, but she brought it in, but it wasn't, it was, she brought it in. It, she brought it in before the marriage. So that's sort of like accepted. That she brought her. in Malug before the marriage, but she changed it to cash. That's what's bothering Geshem and me. You're saying, Stam, that when a woman, whatever money a woman brings in goes to the husband. That's what you're saying? Yeah. She sells Malug property in her husband's lifetime, right? And then she dies. So now it's not, it's not Malug anymore, it's cash. Correct. Malug means karka. It's not Malug anymore. Correct. Now it's cash. The husband, now she dies. Not about reactions. So what do you what's the Kiddish? What's the Kiddish? Yes, the Kiddish is. is what... Yeah, the the Kiddish. What's the problem? The premise is wrong. He doesn't own all cash that she has. She has he gets the chosim in in Mitsiya This was never his. She owns that money. He may have a right to the payers of that money if there are subsequent payers. The money is hers. No. <laughs> Correct. But what we're saying here, Usha was saying, is that it's as if he bought the property from his wife. That he gets first dibs on it. Well, it's Meshubat to him because he's the Irish here. What? It's Meshubit to him because he's the Irish or because of the payers? Um, no, not because he's not because he's Irish. But if he was Irish, he'd be last in line. But he's not Irish. We're saying that he's a purchaser from her. Because right? he has a, a Kenyan payers. Yes. So which was already yes. there when the guy bought it. So even when the guy bought it, he was getting the payers. This guy knew what he was getting into. Uh, I don't know. No, but he, but he, but still, we look at him like he's the one that purchased. Right? It's a purchase. He's a purchase, not a yarsh. Okay. Um, I mean, we got to go back there. But that's, but that's what they're saying. And Usha, that's what they were talking. Fine. Ashke Ravita Bariyazal Ravavo Dava Koiba Uchlusta Da Usha. He was standing in a, or a gathering. Sounds like a coffee room in Usha. Who's the one that said everything over what went on in Usha? They said it's Riyazi Bachanina. Yes, the Tanamine Arban Zimnin. So he learned it from him. He hazarded it over 40 times that it was Riyazi Bachanina. I don't understand why. According to Rashi, he needed to do that. Others say that he just hazarded the Takanas of Usha. Right? Why would he have to be hazarded over who's the one, who's the one that brought down? The Takanas of Usha. But anyways, the Dabrile command the Mantle Bekisne. And it's as if it was in his pocket. Right? So, okay, there's a couple of ways to learn that, what that means. In his pocket, meaning, you know, that people say he's got shots in his pocket, which means he really has it. Others say, no, it's like in his pocket because people, you know, you always feel in your, your pocket to see that you didn't lose anything. So that's the way it is. He kept, he was worried that he was going to forget it. Okay. Fine. Praise is a person who who watches judgment and he's doing tzedakah at all times. Can you do tzedakah at all times? Right? Sort of like the gift that keeps on giving. Right? Like we learned yesterday, you're not really mechuyiv to do it. So if you do feed your kids when they're ketanim, not ketane ketanim, that you're mechuyiv to. So if you're feeding your kids over the age of six, so Rashi says, you're feeding them constantly the whole day. And so that's tzedakah. So when you feed your kids, you're giving them tzedakah a whole day because that's supporting them a whole day. I mean, even at the time that they're not actually eating. He brings up a yasam and a yasama in his house and he and he gets them married. Dafka if he gets them married? But it says. That means if he doesn't marry Roth, it's not stuck? 
And yeah, that's an interesting thing. Like, well, what does that mean? If you know, it is tzedakah. It's just not steady tzedakah. So what? Uh, by children, yeah, you know, it doesn't say matzah, right? It only says it. It only says by yasim and yisam. Correct. Yeah. So I don't know. I didn't, sure why, uh, I didn't understand. I didn't understand what umasim. What what that means umasim. Let's say, let's say you pay for a wedding where the parents can't afford the wedding. So that you don't get a mitzvah all the time. It has to be dafki yasim and yisayma. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Then it says hain va'ishur bebeisiv. It's a kosei medas laad. He has wealth in his house, and it's tzedaka forever. So what do you mean tzedaka forever? So Rav Huna of Rav Chisachad Amar Zeh Lo Mitaru Malamda. That's somebody who teaches Torah, who learns Torah and also teaches it, right? Because he has the hain and the aisher in his house, and and since he has talmidim, so then it's going to be forever. Chad Amar Zeh Koyt of Torah Neviim Uksuvim. He writes a Tanakh, right or a Torah Mashiul Nacherim. He lends it out to people to use. So that's that's a constant, right? So, uh, meaning if you make a gemach, sounds like if you make a gemach, that they're constantly a gemach for tables, a gemach for svarim, a gemach for this, a gemach for that. If people are constantly borrowing from the gemach, then you're getting constant mitzvahs. Fine. Now, Paris, well, the, 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 the yeah. simplest way to understand is the people who have their own safe at her, they get, leave it in a shul, and the shul lanes from it all the time. Right. right. Yeah, correct. Oh, but you can also say if somebody donates svarim, right? If you donate svarim to a shul, and people are constantly using it, right? So that maybe that's also certainly if you take a money gemach and they're constantly being used, like you know, in uh, in neighborhoods that are not so wealthy. Right, so that's uh, yeah. Then uh, uh, <coughs> fine. Then it says Urei Vanim. That's the song of the Daf. Urei Vanim Levanech Hashalem Al Yisrael. See children to the children. What does that mean? I'm Yeshua Ben Levi. Kima Shabanim Levanech. Since your kids have kids, Shalem Al Yisrael. There's going to be peace to Yisrael. Why? Because because you're not going to come to Chalitz and Yibam. So Chalitz and Yibam is always a very stressful situation. So therefore, it's fine. It's it's good. It's quite interesting. So according to this Gemara, you're sitting by well, Shalom Zacher, singing, They had a kid, no more Yibam, no more Chalitz. Wonderful. <laughs> talk, about a, talk, talk about throwing cold water on the fire. Right? Ah, you walk into a guy, give him a mazel tov and say, by the way, mazel tov for Hashem. Now your wife doesn't need Yibum, doesn't need Chalitza. He's going to look at you, he'll throw you out. <laughs> right? But okay. And what does that mean? Tomorrow. Because he had grandchildren and all of a sudden it's going to be Shalom on Yisrael, maybe they'll argue about the Yerusha. I mean, like, like what? I could at least wait to the next line. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Since there are sons to your sons, Shalom al Dayana Yisrael, it's going to be peace for the Yisrael. Delay Asi because they're not going to come to fight, right? Because meaning the way Rashi understands it is you have to look for the next closest relative, right? So why is that stressful? So so I'm, so so the some talk I have a kasha on the Rashi. What do you mean? It's it's very clear in the Torah the order of Yerusha. So why should it be fight? Right? So the other shot is that if you have bonim levonecha, so then it's just everything's going. I think this is a shot that you you have going from one son to the other. You keep the sons a little out of the picture. Right? And then uh, then you don't have any issues. But okay, we're not going down that road. Or but or because the makes- father or because the father will the father, because the father could make a trick. Let's say there's three. I think I saw it this morning. The, the, the father has three boys and one girl, and he likes the girl. So he's going to say, I'm, before he dies, I'm giving the money girl more than the boys, right? So the boys are all going to get upset. 
So if he has grandchildren, he's going to divide equally amongst everybody. You don't like the pshat? Yeah. Zevi, your personal Yerusha things you can work out later on how Yerushvar wants to divide all the buildings, okay? <laughs> we'll talk about that later, offline. Let's go right there. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's whatever. It's a bottom level, okay, well, I don't know. There, there's no, I guess there's no easy shot in that. Okay, right. Does that matter? That's just another thing we do what we want. We don't do what says in Shokalaro, so... Um, well, what do you mean, making Yerushas for daughters? Yeah. Not giving the Bechar Pishnayim making Yerushas for daughters. Well, of course, Chas Lechalilah, but everybody gives them Pishnayim. But who says it has to be from all the Lechasim? Everybody not, gives... I'm not as smart as you, I don't know. <laughs> People are doing workarounds. People are always doing workarounds. I heard, I heard you do it, that the person... You have to give Pishnayim, but it doesn't have to be from all the Nechassim. What? That's actually the next, it's actually the next Gemara that's coming up. It's not the yeah. next Gemara, but it's the That's like filling out facts. Sure. We're not putting down what you're bringing on the LLCs. Let's get to the next Gemara. Same thing. Exactly. Pishnayim, by the way, only comes from liquid cash. That's right. it. Not for, uh, that's the way it is. That's the Pishnayim is only from liquid assets. Which the Gemara is actually going to discuss and right Pish now. Not and Pish and Pishnayim is only if there's two kids, two boys, correct? Well, if there's uh, what do you mean? If, if there's one boy, there's one, no Pishnayim. He takes everything. He gets Pishnayim to the girls. Huh? All right, let's no, not go into this. Get, get nothing, all right? <laughs> Your own girls don't get anything. Especially the girl is a Bukhar, especially a girl is a Bukhar. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so anyway, that measures daughters of Allah's name Chachamim on Tommy Bay's now, right? That's what they made in Russia that boys don't yash in the father till after they're alive, till after the father dies. But so too, girls don't have to be fed from the father's from the father's money until after the father dies. When the father's alive, girls don't have to be supported. The other of Yosef committed Rav Amnon of Yosef Rav Amnon of a comer. Kishem shein a bond of Yarshin helim in a karka. Sons only Yarshin karka. Kachin a bonus nizaynis helim in a karka. So daughters also only get from the karka, which the Gemara is going to ask on this immediately because who says that Yerusha is only karka, right? But this is but there is this concept in Yerusha where there are differences in Yerusha between liquid assets and and illiquid assets. Uh, by Pishnaim is one of them. But either way, here the Gemara seems to be saying that the boys only Yarshin illiquid, only Karka, not cash. So Ava Shalei Kulei Alma, everybody yelled at him. Right? Without Kas, Mestama, right? Rebar Mestama without Kas. The Shavik Ara, who the Yarshin Lei Bnei, is that only when somebody leaves, only somebody who has Karka uh, his kids, the Ashenim, the Lai Shavikara, but if he doesn't have a Karka, Lai Yasi Lebene, his kids don't Yashenim, some of the Yasif, the Duma, Ksubas Benin Dichrin, Kamarma, maybe he's talking about the Ksubas Benin Dichrin, which we've mentioned before. It's a Ksuba, it's another workaround type Ksuba. It's called the, the Ksuba for the, for the male son, right? Meaning when somebody has a second marriage and he's afraid, now the Ksuba goes, the Ksuba, um, if it says in the Ksuba that if the daughter dies, the husband Yashin, right? Um, so the, what happens is that we're afraid, and, and it could be in multiple different scenarios, but, but basically what they're afraid is that the kids from the second marriage are going to take all the Yerusha money from the Ksuba, right? So they don't want that. So they make this, this special stipulation of, in the Ksuba called the Ksuba's Benin different. For, for male sons, that only the actual blood sons will yashin. Not, from the new marriage, they will not yashin. Now, the whole sugya, whether we don't really write this in our ksubas nowadays, but I guess we'll get to that further, further as when we do the, all the ksuba stuff. Fine. Some of them mar, uh, Amr Lay, they said to mar, the gabra rabba, who, the other my kamina, mar, who was, a, meaning Rabbi Yosef, who was a gabra rabba, who was a great man, he knew what I was saying, and I, that's what I was referring to. 
Amram, fine. Now a new sugya. Amram, Chiyam, Yosef. Rav, Zon, Mechiti, Ta'alya. Rav gave Yisoymus. Rashi says that the case here was that girls who lost their father came to him and they wanted to be fed from their father's property. So Rav gave them the, the best wheat from their father's thing. Was it from the Parnasa, meaning from the money that the father normally leaves over to be able to marry off the daughters? May, I don't know how to pronounce that word really. May I I think Iluvia, 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 meaning from the upper, from the uh, up, upstairs, the Av, the, the Avu Kedushmul, meaning it's the, from the upstairs of the, meaning, I don't think, I mean, it doesn't mean upstairs, that's the next one, but meaning from the up, from the, from the brain of the father, of the, of the upper part of what the father would say, meaning, what do you have to go into the father's, uh, not brain, what's the word, uh, into his manam mentality? Uh, his what? You have, to, you have to, like, analyze the father's, where, where thoughts, he, what, thoughts, what he thoughts, thoughts, thought process. Weltanschauung. What? His Weltanschauung. How he looked I'm, at I'm the world. Him. How he looked at the world. Could be right, yeah. I mean, he right, exactly. You have to estimate. That's what it is. You have to estimate. Right? Was he a cheap guy? Was he not a cheap guy? Is he going to be generous? <laughs> not generous? <coughs> but is that what he meant? So much more for shaman ba'av for for parnosa, meaning to support daughters. You you evaluate how much the father was going to give. I do my mazayni mamishava, or do you say no? It wasn't had nothing to do with what with what the father would want to leave for the daughters. It's just, bottom line is, is, Rav just gave them food to eat. Umay Aliyah. And what does it mean, Aliyah? Midvarim toivim shenever ba'aliyah. From the good things that were said in the Aliyah on the upstairs. Zaman of Yisaf by Yosef. Ba'aliyah is kino shi'i b'noyst nis, but banish nis aris menat metafolim. In the upstairs, right, a lot of times the takonas of the chum, I guess they went upstairs to their offices, and after they came out of the takonas, that they have to be fed from metafolim, from movable objects, right? So, so that's, those are the two ways of looking at why Rav gave them the best wheat. The Tashima, Bidev the Rabbana Achua the Ravchia Bar Ava, in the hands of Rabbana, the brother of Ravchia Bar Ava, have Metalpul the Yatmi. In his hands, they had, he had money. He was like uh, an apotropist. Also, look, I made the Shmuel, and they came in front of Shmuel, and they wanted their money, the Yusayimus. So, Amalei Zil Zoyn, he said, to Rabbana, go feed them. My love, the Mazayne, did he, did he not mean just give them food? Because Rav Yusuf by Yosef, and he held the Rav Yusuf by Yosef, that it's just that they made a takana that you have to feed the daughters. Meaning, it had nothing to do with the, what do you call it, the dowry that the father left over. So he said, Loi, Hosim le Parnosa have a. It was, there was for Parnosa, meaning there, the dowry, which Mullah Tameh, Dom Shmullah Parnosa Shamanah, from this Parnosa by Yusimus. You try and evaluate what the father gave. Fine. Have a, the Gemara brings a couple of stories. Now, have over the Ben Ardoi. There was a story of the same thing in Ardoi. But Dain Daini Ben Ardoi and the Dayan of Ben Ardoi Darshan, the Pumpadisa, right? And the same thing and and, uh, and the same thing happened in Pumpadisa. Ba'agvi Rav Chana Bar Bizda. Rav Chana Bar Bizda took metalpolin, movable things to give to the Yisimus. Give it back to them. And if you don't, I'm going to take away your houses from you. Right? Because you paskin wrong. Which is a whole different story because who says that if a dying paskin is wrong, he has to go pay for it. It really depends on what type of mistake he made. That's a whole. That's another sugi unto itself. Fine. Ravami Ravasi, Ravami Ravasi both thought that they will give the daughter's food from a talpun on the Lord of Yaakov Aridi, this is Rav Yachim Rishlakish, something that Rav Yachim Rishlakish didn't do, meaning we don't know what they did. Aston of Dina Bovdi, you're going to do a mice. So we don't even know if there was a psak from Rav Yachim Rishlakish. I'm assuming what that means is that that if they didn't know a psak from them, then they must not have passed in it. And he says, you're going to do a psak? Fine. Right. There's another story. Rav Lazar Savar Lamezon Mimtalpun. Rav Lazar. He also was going to give the Yosimus 
from movable um, things. I know by you, you're not doing Midas Adin. Because by strict stock, you shouldn't. You're dealing with Rachmanus. Right? Meaning he was doing it uh, as a. It's not Rosa. A, um, not a, a, not a slot. What do you call it? Yeah, I guess the ace losses, let's say. Ella, Shema, Yiru, and Tamin. But the problem is when you do this, this becomes a whole nother Ashkafic issue. Maybe the Tamidim will see you. The Yikva, Allah, and then they're going to make it to Allah when that's not the Allah. Allah is that you don't see them from the Talbun. You're doing it because of your specific situation. They may take the wrong message from that. So then that Stam gets to do another issue. Every time, a Rav normally does not have to explain his Psaq. Right? So does every time the Rav have to explain the stock, even though, like, meaning, meaning sometimes people ask a question, and you give them an answer because it's a shas atchak or it's a bidiyevit, and then they think it's a lechat chila, so you have to give them a shir every time you answer them a question. Yeah, whatever, this is a part of the, this is the whole sugya. Fine. Now, who does the commander of Yosef? Amalu, havulam bitimri da'al budjir. Give her the tmarim, the dates that are on the, the sheets. They used to put these, uh, Mats, I guess, or sheets under the trees to catch all the fallen fruit. He says, "Give her from those. Those are metalpulin because they're detached from the tree." Let's say there was a balchayiv, meaning that this father sold the field to somebody, and then somebody he owed somebody money. So really, you, what you do is that the person that was owed money can go get the field because because karka can transfer, but not metalpulin. He says, let's say there was a Baal Chayef. Would you have given if you have, would you have given the guy who was owed money these fruits? No, it's the Talpulin. So why are you giving it Why are you giving it to the daughters? Meaning because we had said that you give only Karka. What I was talking about was the fruit that was totally ripe. So therefore what? So I think what says so meaning it was so since it was already since it was um um sorry, what did I say? That they uh, meaning they were really detached from the tree but they were still attached, right? So meaning they were fully ripe, but they were still attached to the tree. So therefore I didn't mean that you take the ones that fell. Those talking you can't take. You're taking the ones that fell from that were ready to fall from the tree. But they're still attached. So the Gemara asks on Amar Aleph, "Say says, 'Kolayim it leaves us kikazus dami.' A major rule that comes up in mikvah a lot. Whatever is going to be cut is already considered like cut right now, right? So these fruits, since they're ripe, they're going to be cut. So they should be considered not like karka. They should be considered like metalkalin. By the way, this and this this you say comes up a lot in this in mikvah. This is why." Before a person goes to the mikvah, they're supposed to shave the hair, whatever hair they normally shave, supposed to cut the nails, because since it's going to be cut, since it's going to be cut, so it's kagazit. So therefore, you, you. Uh, how does it apply by? The... How does it apply by? By mikvah. This is why women have to. Uh, women have to do hair removal. If the lechatchila, at least they have to cut their nails lechatchila. Because since they plan on cutting their nails anyway, so it's as if it's not there. And therefore, the piece of nail that's longer is a chatzita. Right? It's a chatzita on because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be removed. Um, so, how could you, so how you say it's like it's not there? I mean, it's the opposite. No. Hello, I'm Anything that's going to be cut is as if it's cut. So then what do you have to cut it for? No, because now it's not cut. Let's say you have a nail that goes out to here. Right? So now, I don't know if I'm frozen or not, whether you can see it. No, yeah. You have a nail that goes out. You're you're about to cut it. So we consider that as if it's cut. Now you have that nail sitting down, something that's already cut, sitting on there. Let's say somebody cut a nail and somehow it's stuck to the finger. Oh, and that's what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's not a chetzitza now, but it will be. It's oimid lechetzitza, so it becomes a chetzitza. Uh-huh. Correct. It's a, a god to lump this, right? Yeah. So that's why, really, if a woman doesn't ever plan on cutting her nails, me'ikar adin, she does not have to cut her nails for the mikvah. 
Okay, but that's a whole different sugya. Anyway, so that's what we're saying. So these fruits, if they're going to be their oymet to be cutting, so then it's as if they're cut. So they're metaltal and they're not karkas and we're answers. No, the trichel is dikla coming. And though they still need the tree a little bit. They still need the tree. So it's somewhere, right. these fruits are somewhere in, they're almost going to be ripe, but they're not fully ripe. So it's, it's like somewhere in no man's land. So therefore those fruits, you'd be able to give to the assignment. Okay, I'm sorry for a little longer doubt. But, oh, yeah. uh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Fine, a fine night, everybody. Yashikaya. All right. Okay. That was uh, a big Yashikaya tonight. <laughs>